Welcome to another Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. I am presenting to you a theme page of banknotes tonight. And as I prepare to do this, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Take advantage of the more than 100 that I've made and uploaded so far and receive notifications for all my future videos. I also want to take this time to um, let you guys know that as a school teacher, this has been probably the hardest time in my career to keep up enthusiasm with these sweet children who are not happy and a little bit nervous, honestly, because of everything going on with school and the COVID crisis. So if you know any children that are students, keep them in your thoughts. And if you know any adults that are teachers, please keep them in your thoughts as well. Now, before I start on this video about rhinoceros on banknotes, I want to share with you a little joke, and I borrowed it from Abbott and Costello. But um, <laughs> I used to tell people that my sister's smelled like roses. Or I'd tell my sisters, oh, you smell like a rose. And they would go, oh, what a nice thing to say. And I'd go, a rhinoceros rose. So go ahead and get your laughs out while you're subscribing and settle back as I share with you rhinoceros on banknotes. And the first note I have to share with you is from South Africa. It is a 10 rand, um, and it's from 2012. This actually shows a full-length rhino here in the background. And in the foreground, the head of a rhino. And I believe, according to my research, that this is a white rhino, which is endemic to mostly the lands that are South Africa. And you can see it has kind of the flat lip here at the front. But um, I'll go into more details on banknotes, their features and such on banknote specific videos. I'm pretty, I'm a lot more general whenever we're just doing a topic. The next note I'm going to share with you is from Mozambique. This is a 20 Metacash from the nation of Mozambique, and it shows a splendid full-facing uh, rhinoceros. I guess we're seeing it from the front. And my problem whenever I looked up Mozambique uh, rhinoceros is online, I received three different answers. I received information that led me to believe that this is possibly a black rhino, but we can't see the lip, so I can't tell you if it's a hook lift or not. And it could be a white rhino. In fact, it looks strangely sim similar to the one on the South African, but um, maybe they all look alike. Maybe they're all related. <laughs> I don't know. And the reason I can't tell if this is a black or a white one is because I found a website where it said that there was a small population of black and white rhinos inside of Mozambique. And when I say small, I meant less than 10 of each. And then I found a third website that said they um, have gone extinct in Mozambique and there are no rhinos left in Mozambique. So this is definitely a rhinoceri anonymi. I have no idea what kind of rhinoceros this is, except that it's a purple one. And that's kind of neat. The next note I'm going to share with you is from Nepal. It is a hundred rupees. And I like this one because it has a baby rhino with it. And it has a parent rhino, and I would assume a mother rhino. This rhino, unlike the previous two, has just a single horn. And you can see the puppy there. It doesn't have any horns at all. And I believe the proper term is actually a calf. But I don't know. I like the word puppy. So that's what I'm going to use. This is a 2015 100 rupee. And this is a one-horned or a greater one-horned rhino. Pretty impressive. Not a critter I would want to run into on my downtime. Now, the next note is different in the sense that it is um, a polymer note instead of a paper, but it is the same fundamental design as was on the previous Mozambique 20 Metacash. And uh, just like the previous one, I have no clue which kind of rhinoceros this is. It does have two horns. Can't see the lip. Can't tell if it would be a black one or not but a beautiful polymer note nonetheless. This note is followed by a Zambian Tuquacha. And I've always liked Tuquacha banknotes, well, banknotes from Zambia, because I like the smiling visages, and I love the eagles and, you know, the animals in action that they usually have somewhere on their notes. But this one has a lovely little butterfly in the middle, and that's pretty neat to me. When you turn this over, let me guess, we're going to see the Chainbreaker statue. And I think that I'm probably right there. And while I'm turning it over to check, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, guys. 
like my channel. And yes, we have a maize field or a cornfield. I don't know what this is. I used to think that this was just duck feet, but <laughs> I couldn't tell you what it is. I guess if I do this bank note as a fully researched note, I'll have to spend a little more time on the features. But this one fits into this category because of the splendid left-facing um, head of a rhino. And in this case, this is a black or a hook-lipped rhinoceros. There you go. On a bank note from 1989. The next note is another... 100 rupee from Nepal, and it's from Nepal when it was still a monarchy. And so this one actually has a single rhinoceros. Um, it is the same type as the one on the previous 100 rupee I showed you, only there is no calf. This is a one-horned or a greater one-horned rhino. And the other note I shared with you is Nepal as a regular uh, country. This one is Nepal as a monarchy. It was still a monarchy at the time of this note. Pretty impressive. Followed by this Tanzanian 5,000 shillingis. Now that is a face only a mother could love. And I've often said that that was applicable to my mother and my sisters as well. My mother could only love my sisters smelling like roses, rhinoceroses. This Tanzanian 5,000 shilling is the head of a black rhino. And it's also known as a hook-lipped rhino, although I don't see too much of, of the hook lip, you know, here. But I'm going to take their word for it. They know the animals on their banknotes. Um, a beautiful banknote. The next note is a nation that has a rhino that is specific to this nation only. And this is a Bank Indonesia 100 rupiah note. And we have here on this predominantly red note a Javanese rhino. And what's interesting about this note is we have this Javanese rhino on this side. And then when you turn it over, it almost looks lizard-like if you ask me. When you turn it over, we also have a Javanese rhino in its uh, tropical setting. There you go. An interesting rhinoceros on an interesting banknote. The final rhinoceros note I have to share with you, but please don't think these are the only rhinoceros banknotes in the world, is this Indian 10 rupee banknote. And on the back of this note, we have an elephant, an Asian elephant. We have a tiger, and we have a rhinoceros, and the rhinoceros on the Indian bank note is also a greater one-horned note, just like or a greater one-horned rhino, just like on the ne Nepalese bank notes. But in India, they also call this an Indian rhino. I could die of not surprised <laughs> based on that. And I suppose if you have an animal that uh, naturally lives in your borders, you can call it whatever you want. Folks, these are the basic rhino notes I came across just in a casual way. There must be many more. Please subscribe to my channel and share in the commentary additional bank notes you know of that are rhinoceros related. I want to thank all my fans who had something to say on the cow theme notes. Let's see if we can't come up with an exhaustive list of themes for each of my channels. Go ahead and comment, share, and like. I'm, ben I'm Benjamin. This has been Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. Have a jewel of a day.